Well, so first of all, um, let's see, cousin Adam, tell us something good that happened in your year. I hope you can hear me and we can hear unmute you. yourself, Adam. Adam, unmute, unmute. Lower unmute. left. There we go. I got it. There we go. How, how about now? Yes, yes. So, Adam, please Perfect. tell us, please share something uh, good that happened to you this past year. Stayed healthy all year long. And your your kid also doubling? Uh, my, my daughter is doing very well in school, thank God. And um, really no complaints. Everybody's managed to stay pretty healthy. So the biggest thing. Good. Can I know her? I'm sorry? Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem, that's right. A room exactly. full of Jews. I love it. I love it. Where's that? <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's too many Jews here. Too many Jews. Bring on Leslie. Come on. She's only half Jew. So, Agamemnon, Wait a minute. I was promised there'd be Delhi. Where's the Delhi? A, it's, it's, in, it's in there. So, um, so Agamemnon, I asked yes. a guest to be on the show to either have maybe a, a poem, an anecdote, no, or, or a, a talent, an anecdote, a trivia thing, or do you have anything to, to share? I do. What? So... Every every Saturday every Saturday on your show you do a limerick, yes. And it reminded me of uh, when I was in grade school back in the last century, and there was a book I came across. It was the first time I'd learned about limericks, and I never forgot them, and they made me think of you, of course. Of course. And they're all about Little Willie. I had that book, of course. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so well, some dynamite is that the one that well well that's the last that's the last one but there were four of them so there was um let's see uh in the family drinking well willie pushed his sister nell said his mother drawing water it's mighty tough to raise a daughter then there was a uh, little willie on a farm fell off a horse and broke his arm all the neighbors cried what fun too bad that it was only one uh little willie with a thirst for gore Nailed his sister to the door. Mother said with humor quaint, Willie, dear, don't scratch the paint. <laughs> and of course, then the, the greatest, of course, is little Willie feeling bright, bought a stick of dynamite. Curiosity seldom pays. It rained Willie for seven days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I remember. I remember the, the, the raining of the Willie. And they were <laughs> raining by their Willies, if you think about it. That's yes. my cousin Agam Glass, ladies and gentlemen. Those weren't limericks, though. Those are those are actually quatrains, I believe. Much yeah, the the, the the two quick ones in the middle are, are just like you're right. Uh, you're right, Dave. It's not oh, exactly. Right. Of course, I'm right. By the way, Leslie, well, are you was... there? Leslie, are are you like not visual, but Leslie? Let's see you. Let's say a happy new year. Come on. Oh, she's not connected. Oh, okay. She's well, Doctor Sue, positive entertainment for Doctor Sue. I need you to unmute. Dr. Susan Horowitz. Now you uh, mute. There we go. Um, so we can eat. There you go. So Dr. Sue, you manage. You know, you have to look on the bright side of life. You you probably got out of 2020 thinking like we all did. Well, yeah, this goddamn year is over. 2021's got to be better. <laughs> Was it for you though? It it was fine. I mean, I fortunately, I I mean. I've been well, I've been healthy, and uh, I live my life. <laughs> All right. Well, th that's okay. So so what is the best thing that happened to you this past year? Yeah, I'm trying to think about it. Uh, going through the year, uh, I, think, um, I think because early on in the pandemic, I kind of looked at it as something that was likely to go on for a while. So I made that shift pretty fast and I started focusing on things that I could do that were, you know, possible. And I made, I got into making song videos, which I love to do. I love to make my song videos. I take my, my iPhone, you can see, I take my iPhone and, I, and I make these little um, videos and I put, uh, I interview people. I go into the park, I interview people, and then I made up a jingle to go with my song videos, and I play my little 16-second jingle at the beginning of the song video. 
and then there's some kind of interaction between me and the person that I'm interviewing. And then they, if they have a talent, they usually show their talent. Um, one, one was, uh, I saw this guy playing basketball. This young guy was a high school senior, I think. And I watched him playing basketball. I, I asked him, um, you know, could I watch him playing basketball? He said, sure. He said, are you a basketball fan? I said, well, not exactly. I like to watch the guys play basketball in the park. So, so, um, so, um, I asked him if I could shoot a video of him and he said, sure. And I said, and I was doing this thing called new word, like every video would be 60 seconds long. Why? Because if it's 60 seconds or under, you can put it on Instagram or TikTok. If, if it's any longer, they won't upload it. So I have, to, and then I got my little jingle. So I know I've got a little, very short piece of time. And I said, pick a new word, pick, pick your own word, and then you can talk and do whatever you want to do. You've got about 40 seconds to do it. So he picked the word chance. And he said, I have this basketball and it's a symbol for taking a chance in life. And he shot the basket and he made it. He actually made this long shot, the ball went in, and we had that word chance. So that was really fun and exciting. And, we, and you know, we started shooting these pictures of us. So it was, an, it was an adventure. So it was a way of having adventures in at a time when, you know, a lot of regular things were not available, but this was a way of having some adventures. Now, by the way, please tell people, is it on a YouTube channel or you have a, a website? Yes, a yes, website? it's on my YouTube channel. So I will give people my YouTube channel. You can find that there. Plus, you can now find a lot of song videos. It's very entertaining. So my YouTube channel is uh, youtube.com slash Dr. Sue Comedian, D-R-S-U-E-C-O-M-E-D-I-A-N, Dr. Sue Comedian. And that the reason it says Dr. Sue Comedian is because I've had this channel for a long time. And when I started, I, I was doing com. I'm still doing comedy as it turns out, but I got in a lot more into doing songs. But once I had the channel, you know, I kept it. Yeah. Now, speaking I, of songs, I do want to, I, I just added a new guest to our group here to the neighborhood. By the way, I'm Dave Lefkowitz. I haven't mentioned that in, in, in like a while. This is Dave's gone by. Somebody wrote my chat. Yeah. Vungo. <laughs> Vungo. Well, Vungo to all of you. Oh, no, we just thought, well, we lost somebody. Who we Leslie. Lost? Leslie was on and she went off. She, she's trying to, we always, yeah. Um, but we do have musically Richard Goldklang. He was in a, uh, a band many, back in the mid to late 60s called the Third Bardo that was recognized on the Rhino series Nuggets. Since then, he's done a lot of IT work and stuff like that. He lives out on the island, pretty close to where I am. So Richard, you had an interesting year. You you had horrendous dental work, but you look great now. How are you? Oh, um, unmute, unmute. Unmute. Can you hear me now? Okay. Can you hear me? It's interesting. You're talking through your feelings. Yeah. All right. Um... <laughs> Oi, vey. I have to switch uh, devices. I'll go to my phone if this isn't working. I'm sorry. I, I did you understand? That? Could you say what you just said again? He mentioned about having to switch devices. <laughs> oh yeah, you might have to do that. I would suggest you do that and come back. <laughs> whatever, whatever that means. Okay. Well, his IT work, apparently he needs an IT person. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a remediator. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm getting to my Try again, try again, because we can also talk a little bit more to, to Moisha. Uh, Dr. So I've got to let you go because I'm going to bring in some more people. We're, we're... Okay, so are we saying goodbye? We're saying goodbye. If we have time at the end of the show, I'll play that video that you um, shared with us uh, or shared with me earlier in the week. Is Adam in like a hunting cabin? Yeah, Adam is the Unabomber. I don't know. <laughs> so, Dr. Sue, thank you. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you. Shalom. Okay. Very, very nice. That's great. So, it was so nice to see you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Take care.
Well, but I'm now, now uh, Moshe, can you stay? Or do you I think I, I might be overstaying my welcome a little bit, but I will. I have another thing for you, Dave. Is it, is it a Which is a thing? trivia question. Yeah, wait until we have a, a trivia a question. more people. Um, okay. Who's else coming in? We got, uh, ah, let's try Stephen one more time. Let's try Leslie one more time. While we're at it, well, well, at least we have Adam. So, Moisha, hit us with some trivia. And okay, that knows. trivia question, Yes. there's a little trick in it, but it should be very obvious, I think. What beloved Canadian game show host passed away in 2021? Beloved. Beloved. Someone was very, was very loved by his audiences. Yep. He's Canadian. He was a game show host. He passed away in 2021. Who? <laughs> Betty White. No, no. Um, Adam Goggin. No. It was. It was uh, Trebek. Alex Trebek. Trebek. Alex Trebek. Very good. Two points for everybody. <laughs> uh, that is the only. That's the only trivia question I ever get right on Dave's show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how hard it would be because sometimes with with Americans. Uh, I'm a Canadian, as you know. I'm calling from Vancouver, but sometimes Americans, they you say Canadian, they don't know what is it. What is it about Canada? They don't know. But Alex Trebek, of course, Canadian, was also American. He lived in Amer in the United States for a long time, so he was dual citizen. Leslie, Leslie, uh, Leslie unmute yourself. yourself. I want to say Happy, Happy New Year. Year. We have your, your Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year to you, Leslie. I was here you and again. you didn't let me in. I don't know what happened. I just left it on. <laughs> Dave, well, we, when you've had I, enough of me, when you've had enough of me, I'll say shalom. Well, we'll stick around as long as we don't have I don't freeze again and lose everything. And so we have Moisha Denberg, the musician, Adam Glass, my cousin, my old friend from junior high school and high school, Stephen Fish, in whose band, the, the Fish Heads, I was in, um, and, and, Leslie Hoban Blake of Cricket yeah. Circle, the podcast. Oh, the, the, he's wearing the shirt. Stephen is wearing the shirt. That yeah. was our group. That was our, we were the Moist Sheep also. Um, Stephen, what is your last name? Fish. Spell it. F I S C H. Oh, okay. Because fish. I was Mrs. Fish. fish for about ten ten years, and my son's name is Fish, but there's no there's no C in it. It's no just F I S H. Oh well, well, we could be. You never know. We could be no, related some no, other way. No, because he was Pennsylvania Dutch. He was not Jewish. Okay. Oh. Okay. It was very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you have you ever wearing... seen the Frisco kid? Did you, have you ever seen the Frisco kid? Where, where <laughs> he, he, he thinks he sees these pens, the Amish, and he goes, Landsman, Landsman. Landsman, Landsman. He's his own people. Hi, Eva. And then he faints when he realizes Hello, Eva. But now that's Eva Heineman, I should mention. Eva has her own theater review pro. She has had it for many, many years. It's called High Drama that you can watch on Facebook and also on um, archive.org now, YouTube, um, various places. So welcome, Eva. Hi, Happy New Year. <laughs> happy almost New Year to you too. I, mean, I think I'm gonna have everybody just kind of stay on and and, um, and ring in the New Year because we're five minutes away. I mean, I'm ready with a lachayim. Wow. What? Yeah. Get your lachayim ready. My battery is very low now. My, I just left it here. What? Oh, well, well, we still see you, Leslie. So, Leslie, you you had a hell of a year. You you came through the big C, and you're you're doubling fine and still. Oh no! Ah, oh, God damn! You lost her again. Not the not the, the big C. Just we just lost her feet. <laughs> 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 God. Wow, Dave, you've got timing, buddy. You really do. Oh, his timing is great, Adam. Yeah. The best. <laughs> anyway, Eva, how was your year? What a boom. <laughs> yeah. So, Eva, 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 what's the best? I mean, you you got to you know when theater opened up again. Did I'm she, sure you started. Did she go to London, wasn't she? In London? Oh, did, yeah, that's right. You went to London too, right? Tell us, tell us, Eva. Yes, I mean that's what I'm going to talk about. I have after 14 years, I finally had a holiday. <laughs> mid, mid muscle, mid so what did you do in London? Did you go to a lot of theater? Susan, come on out. Oh, now I, I did see five plays, but that's what I want to talk about because I want to talk about, talk about, about the best thing to have. Okay, when I, when, I, when, I, when I finished college, I went to live in England for a while, and then I was in an au pair in Paris, and I worked for this family called the Voxelmans, and for 42 years, I stayed friends with them. 
And so I went to see uh, Renaud, who is now 46, and I knew him when he was like four. And his mother is 84, Mana Voxman, and is, she's in an um, assisted living. She has Alzheimer's. And the big thing was, will she remember me? And I got there and she goes, Eva! And she grabbed me by the arm and she was so happy to see me. She remembered me. It was just the highlight of the trip was to see Mama Voxman and have her remember me. <sighs> Is and, when you, and I got to tell you the name of the hotel I stayed at. It was the funniest thing. Oh, God, we are theater critics. It was, I'm not making this up. It was called the Untalented Hotel. Really? Untalented. Yes. <laughs> Untalented Hotel. I'll send you pictures to prove it. My God, if they ever build a hotel for me, that, that, that's, where, that's where they call it. Now, let me also course, welcome, first of all, uh, Stephen Fish. Yeah. Steve, tell me something uh, good that happened to you this year. Well, okay. I, well, last time I talked to you, uh, on, on, on YouTube, I was sort of unofficially retired. Do you hear me now? Or? Oh, yeah, we, just stay still and we'll hear you better. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know what I'm trying to give me. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, you need, uh, let's I'm sorry. Try not to I, uh, 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 yeah, okay. I was unofficially retired, but now. It's official. I am officially retired as of January. So, huh? Uh, that, thank you. Thanks. That, thanks. And, uh, you know, I, I was a, a home instruction teacher. That, that's what I did for 25 years in, in Manhattan. Uh, and it was, a, it was, and it was, a, it was, a, it was a fun job for its time, but now it's, you know, time to move on in life. So, what do you think you're going to do in 2022? What's, what do you? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm kind of still in limbo because of, you know, what's going on. Uh, you know, I, I like, I would like to get out and travel and do things, but it's, you know, right now I really can't because, because of the situation and because of, you know, my girlfriend's health situation. You know, so, uh, so I, and I have to make sure that I stay clear, you know, anything like that, you know, I, I, but I, I do have all three of the vaccinations and so does she, so. Uh, well, you know, we but, have, I should say, as I said, Stephen Fish, I've known him since I was in junior high school. We've got one more person logging on to get us into the new year. Uh, he is my oldest friend. We've known each other since third grade. And wow. so he's still connecting to audio, but hon, hon, it's too late. It's, it's like, it's going to be one minute. We're instead of our, our typical, hold on. It's not going to be a ball drop. Okay, I'll drop it. Oh, it's, I'm it's, watching it's the like, ball drop. such a terrible no, I year. I open these We're okay. going to be lowering. I can't, I can't. Instead of like I a mean, ball dropping or anything like that. It was such a stinky, horrible year. Can't, can't. We don't see it yet. She is doing the lowering of the deodorant. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lower it a little bit. And we're just going to count down. Excellent. 30, 29, 28, no, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 16, 17, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, to Moshe Denberg, to Adam Glass, you, to Stephen Fish and his lovely... Flash. Okay, don't, don't worry about wait, wait, uh, Eva You're not flashing, but here, put I'm, this on. I'm not flashing, but I'm going to put this on. <laughs> First fortune cookie of the new year. Let, let's, let's see. Let's, I'm usually the king of all the fortunes. Let's see what the, the, the year has in store for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm opening this up. So this is going to be. Oh, I love Stephen's glasses. Aren't they great? All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm reading this as we speak. What does this say? There can be no existence of evil as a force in a healthy-minded individual. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of fucking fortunes I get. Came from the, hey, where is that to the former president? It's profound. <laughs> I, I think that when you start thinking about that, you can't eat the rest well, of the meal. I mean, really seriously. I don't know if you want to do. It doesn't I mean, mean, I'm, 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 
Bye-bye. <laughs> the dog is adorable. Right. What's the name of your dog, Agam? Well, that's Charlotte right here. Oh, and right. sitting over there in the back corner, that's Jack. Hey, Jack. No, it's just past Jack's bedtime. <laughs> that's Jack, I'm like... We're going to for another half hour, folks. And by the way, uh, Stephen, please reintroduce us. And I, I, I Forgive me for not remembering. This is your... Susan. Susan. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend, Susan. Susan. Now, you've been together how many years? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, you can't make them deaf. <laughs> I bought it at the 99 cent store. I want to use it. <laughs> oh, so maybe after yes. we hang up, <laughs> so we don't make anyone deaf in that. <laughs> you know, Dave, I, I still have I still have one of the uh, advertisement sheets for Moist Sheep from back when you guys were playing. Oh, wow. wow. I I, I, I do. I have it. I have it sitting yeah. somewhere. I remember when you gave it to me, and uh, I still have it si si somewhere. I saved it. Oh, nice. well, sure. Do you know who's on that particular shirt? Do you know the guy on the right over there? The left yeah, that, 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 I was going to bring that up. Uh, he's he's planned on to become a famous person. Yep. I think, yep. I think you have have my you say it. Say. It. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, uh, Fred Armstrong. Fred Armisen from Saturday Night Live was part of yes. our, our music yes. back in the day. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. What, is, what, is, what instrument? Did you play an instrument or did you sing? What did you do? Was uh, I, I, was just, I was just a friend. I'm not any of these I'm not any of these people. But, oh, was, way, was our mascot. Oh, by the way, <laughs> here, here, here's Dave, by the way. <laughs> but what did you do in the band, Dave? Oh, what did I do? Yeah, I was I was a songwriter and singer, and I play horrible keyboards. Oh wow! I had oh, no yeah. idea. Oh, you yeah no no I have I remember that hotel untalented. <laughs> In three different capacities, let me tell you. Now, now Richie, Richie, can you um, Richie, are you there? I know you you don't have the visual image, but maybe you're there. And my friend Ozer, who is I guess sort of trying to be there, but we're not. We're, we're, Dave, I'm going to have to sign off in a couple uh, now. I wish you a happy new year and thank you so much for having me as part of the neighborhood. It's a gas and I wish you health and success with everything that you're doing, man, and hope to, to be together again very soon, okay? Back at you a million times. Let's get you on the quiz again. Moisha, okay. David, where, where can people get the road? The uh, road, la, the road never traveled? Yes, Go yes. to timis.net. T. A T Z I double M E S dot net, Simis dot net, and you'll see the road never traveled, and you'll be able to hear excerpts, and then you'll be even be able to buy it if you if you're so adventurous. Yeah, give money to this man. You need to come on. <laughs> I haven't Most eaten. No. <laughs> Take care, everybody. It's really Thank nice you. meeting you. All the best. All the best to you too. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Thank you very much, Dave. Okay, we, we still have more show to do. We're going to be here till about 1230. We've got my cousin, Adam Glass, my old friend, Stephen Fish. We have Eva Heinemann uh, telling us story about London. We have, I think we have Richie Goldklang. Richie, are you there? Yes. Can you hear okay, me? Okay, Richie, what, what happened to you that was good this year? I got to see my eldest granddaughter once, and that'll probably be a good off to school. But at least it was once. More importantly, you have a 30 second joke, then you can be done with me. Okay, fair enough. Let's my, uh, this joke. My, my, my friend Miriam married beneath her station. She got off of 50th Street and he got off at 34. Oh, oh that's oh. bad. That was worth waiting for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You do realize you just went into the new year with that joke. <laughs> it's like, Ow. The, the year can only go uphill from there, honestly. But but no, that was cute. That was very amusing. Richie, um, stay hell. How's your teeth? I, I know you went for that horrible dental work earlier in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. but it's great oh, right now. I'm oh, sorry? Mm. You good? Can you see? No, no. Oh, oh we, we just have your image. We have your oh. um just a photo. Oh, yeah. There I am up on the top. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Okay. Yeah, everything's good. Okay, good. No, I'm I'm just seeing a still image. Are you actually seeing the rest of him? That's weird. Still image. Haven't he hasn't moved yet? Okay. Well, it's a, it's a nice picture. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, happy, happy new year, Richie. Thank you. Thank you so much for being patient and, and, and staying with us in the neighborhood tonight. I wish you good health. Uh, good I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And some of the music was terrific. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's Christine Lavin and Sylvie Simmons did some. And let's not forget wow. Steve Whistler Herbst. Let's well, happy new year to you and happy everyone new year, else. Too. Richie, thank you so much. Bye bye. Um, thank so, okay. Um, well, let's see. We still have it's. By the way, I should let you know, it is now 12.06 in the morning, January 1st, 2022. We're going to let in another person. Well, we lost my, uh, I was hoping to, my, my friend Ozer would be with us, but he's been trying to get him on. Oh, and, Vicky uh, says hello. Vicky well, said hello. Well, Vicky is coming in. Here she comes. Speaking of theater, since we have Eva Heineman, the theater critic, and we have, um, let's see, coming on to the neighborhood from Chicago. Look, you all have hats. We do. Vicky doesn't need a hat. She's got sparklers and, and magnificent <laughs> behind her. Vicky Quaggy, co-creator of sparklers and there we go. Vicky Quaggy co created Late Night Catechism and still performs it in Chicago at the Greenhouse yeah. Theater along with until, um, okay. well, just this weekend, Christmas Bingo. We forgot something. It, it broke. Oh. oh, that's right. Whoops. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. God. Change that. Yes. Look at this. Oh, wonderful. And, and I have to do this. Oh. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, oh look. Oh, I just made a number two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, no. I should have expected Dave, that. Dave, I really hope you're not setting the stage for this coming year, really. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? Really? You even said well, that. You know, well, you know, we're we're that. we're less than we're less than seven minutes in, and he already said he's pulling a number two. Yes, come, so, on. come on, it's going to be the whole three hundred and sixty-five days <laughs> of number two jokes. Okay, uh, and <laughs> oh, a oh, nice. joke for, for our little friend. This is this is Septipus, who would be an octopus, except they they sell him with only seven legs. God knows why. So of course we, he winds up in our shelf. This is uh, <laughs> he, he, so he's a special octopus. He's loved. Yeah. Yeah. He is still loved. Oh, thank you, Vicky. We love you too, Vicky. Vicky joins us almost every week to play the today yesterday uh, quiz on Dave's Gone By. I am so oh. honored to be a part of Dave's Gone By. I tell people this. It's like it's such a wonderful thing that this has happened to me. Well, oh, well, well gosh. Well, thanks. I mean, we're, check we're... will be in the mail. <laughs> yes. How much do we owe you? Is that just... <laughs> now, Vicky has been. I mean, she's talked about this throughout the weeks that she's been on the show. You've been doing theater now for a few weeks, despite no, since else. since July. We we reopened well, in July. Well, yeah. yeah. I didn't get to see it. Oh, and we, uh, yeah, yeah, we and we we really opened in September. But September, October, November, December. We've every weekend been doing theater, but you know, I, I work, I, I work in a, in a rarefied one person yes. show genre. And because of that, and I have a multiple multitude of actresses who work for me. Oh, yeah. If one person's not feeling well, there's someone else. Uh, we can stay safe. We require vaccinations, masks. If we are healthy and we've tested negative, we can do our shows so we've really lucked out and and what, look, look. i mean yeah because because i mean you must have felt after delta like okay you know the oh, curves going down, they won't have you know worry. i signed a contract to reopen in april of 2021 and delta hadn't even oh you're right oh, my God. Yeah. Hadn't even started and when delta started i thought oh no and then it became you know, you don't advertise the show as much as you advertise the safety. We're clean. We're we put in a new HEPA filter system. We're everything gets wiped down. You have to be vaccinated to get inside. Uh, you know, you try as much as you can to get people to come in. I and now we're going to be doing that even more in 2022. Yeah, I mean, have you been um, taking part in or, or enjoying Chicago? Restaurants? Have you been kind of living normal-ish? We know that from her Facebook. Yes, yeah, we, we see you. You're, you're, know, you're right? a yeah. you know, Here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a true Chicagoan, and I love supporting uh, 
local, you know, Chicago owned businesses. So I go to a lot of restaurants. I wear my mask. I, I'm, I'm triple vaccinated. Um, you know, I do as much as I can to support the, the, the local industry. Um, and, and I'm hoping that people will support my little local industry uh, and come to see my shows. I, I mean, I've had some luck. Our Sunday matinees are great. We, we tend to sell really well for Sundays. Um, Does that I mean offer... you do a Saturday matinee as well and, and cancel one of the night shows? Or No, well, I haven't done that yet. Let's see what happens in 2022. I mean, right now, you know, Dr. Fauci is saying maybe this Omicron will peak at the end of January. So we'll see. Let's hope. Let's hope so. You know. Let, let me wish let me wish uh, Stephen Fish so so I can let you go. Hello, Stephen. But Stephen, Hello. Stephen Fish, my old friend from high school, and uh, so Stephen, did you go to any concerts this this year? Because you you go with no, no, yeah, no. I, 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 well, I've gone to concerts virtually. <laughs> let's just put it that way. You know. So what was the uh, best concert that you watched on YouTube or on Vimeo or wherever you watch like rock concerts? Uh, what was the, your favorite? Oh, yes, I, well, I'm, I'm seeing a bunch of them. Uh, I don't know if I have one that's really a favorite. Uh, but uh, I've seen like a whole bunch of Rolling Stones concerts on on, uh, on the internet. It's, uh, there's a lot of them on YouTube. Uh, and uh, I, I, what I've lately been doing, I've, I, I've formed a couple of Facebook groups in which I post links to, to these uh, to these live, live streams. And the live streams, some of them are live streams of current shows. Most of them are from shows in the past. And uh, and so I, I've been enjoying, you know, watching these these shows and, uh, and and chatting with people from all over all over the country. That that's that's really well, that's fun. Uh, well, Stephen, I wish you and Susan. Thank you. Sorry, thank you, I've thank always you. been horrible with names. Is it Susan or Susie? Susan. Okay. Oh, Susan. Uh, if you lose Susan, like I can lose Susan. So <laughs> so happiness, good health, certainly to both of you in 2022 and, and, and my voice to yourself and Joyce that, that, thank you thank you Stephen have a great new year you, you as well you as well Dave be well okay let me bring in though someone who knows Chicago theater even oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep dish war <laughs> well but from a different angle yeah. see Vicky is an actress yeah. and, a, and a, a playwright playwright director producer director producer we have <laughs> A critic and a very oh, very is it Mary critic. Shen? It is Mary Shen. <laughs> I love Mary Shen Barnage. <laughs> Mary Shen Barnage was joining us momentarily, um, connecting to audio. So, so Eva, let me ask you while Mary logs on, what was your favorite show in person that you saw out? in New York this past when you went back to the theater? Oh, that's easy. Company. Oh, was it wonderful? Company, yeah. drop the mic. You'll never see anything better than company as far as musicals and uh, the play that I've seen so far is Kimberly Akimbo. Oh my gosh, Victoria Clark and Stephen Boyer and Ali Missouri. It was just one. Oh, so good. Okay. I love David Lindsay Abair, but company. Oh my gosh, it was perfect. Eva, what did you think about the reimagining of company? It was just so brilliantly directed. I mean, in every single scene, she put 35 somewhere. Even the time on the clock was 3.05. And, and this one character was wearing shorts. And at one point, they were all in pajamas. And he had pajama shorts on. I mean, I, and Katrina Link is just, I love her to pieces. She's my girl crush. Oh, uh, yeah. She's everybody's I mean, you know. And, and when you went, I'm just curious, uh, how many people were in the audience? Oh, it was full. Yeah. Well, the Pag and the Pone is in it, so that's going to guarantee, you know. No, of and, course. And it's Sondheim, I mean. Yeah. No, that's right. I was just curious. They didn't make any arrangements for being socially distanced, nothing. Oh, no, no, no. In fact, um, we're all very squished together. Mm. But we all have been vaccinated. We all have our masks on. Right. And they make sure of it. The ushers are constantly checking. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, the one time I went to the Lehman trilogy, the, the, the ushers were absolute Nazis about yeah. the menu, but your nose went over the mask. They're like, mask on, mask off. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even if it slips, it's like, ah! Yeah. Now, yeah. Mary, I know we're not going to see Mary. Mary didn't want to be visual, but Mary, are you there? 
Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, I am. I'd I'd like to remind Eva that uh, that Katrina Link started out in Chicago. Oh, you got to know her before me. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Why did you see her in there, Mary? What was she, what did she do? Um. Okay. I I I, th I think she. Uh, okay. She was in the in the first. Yeah. Uh, Ah, oh, okay. I'm losing lo lo losing the uh, the uh, the title. Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh, she was in Hedwig. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. She, uh, okay. Sure. When, when oh, she played, was in Hitchcock, I assume. Vicky, you you remember the one one that played at played at the old movie theater on Yes, the one Broadway on Belmont. And, Belmont. And Belmont. Right, right, right. On and Broadway. Oh, that, Belmont that, that, Broadway. That was, that was her playing playing uh, Hed Hedwig's. Uh, oh side my kick. goodness! Oh my goodness! That was such a great production. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, let me, since we're, we're going so theater oriented, Adam, do you want to stick around or do you, do you need uh, to be with your family or what, what's, how are you doing? Everybody else is asleep. It's just me. Oh, so stick around. Okay. <laughs> stick around. I'd love to. Why not? I'm happy. So, Mary, you wanted to prepare you. something for us in terms of telling us about, you know, in a very short period of time about Chicago theater this past year or, or, or whatever you wanted to share. Uh, well, uh, well, I already sent sent you a statement on it. Okay, when when the theaters shut down, okay, I reminded everybody that once upon a time all the London playhouses had shut down for eighteen years. Okay, so with and the theater didn't die. So um, okay, so what are we complaining about about a few months? And sure enough, okay. Sure enough. Okay, the the, the theaters okay immediately ra rallied rallied to it. Okay, we, okay, we, okay, we got streaming videos. We got got audio plays. Okay, there there is still a group that holds holds Zoom play readings every week. So okay, so so, we, so there was still theater to be found. Okay, you. You, uh, you, uh, you saw, saw my, my reviews. I went out lo looking for theater that okay that that, that was okay go, uh, going on online. Mm -hmm. okay, well, and, and I want to tell everybody that if you want to read some of what Mary has written about Chicago theater, first of all, you can go to uh, the website that I administer, totaltheater.com, totaltheater.com. She also writes, of course, for Windy City Times. And what are one of the two of the other places that you okay, the, uh, theater in Chicago.com. I write feature stories for them. Theater in Chicago.com. So Mary, give us I'm, I'm gonna letting one more guest, but but uh, give us a little bit more of what you wanted to share, Mary. Okay. Uh, well, okay. You okay, we uh, we went from the very uh, from the very beginning, okay, is okay, is in 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 August. Hey, there was a return to indoor theater. Hey, with okay, with 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 audience, with everyone required to mask up and uh, hey, and show pr proof of that vaccination or a ne negative test. Hey, and that that's the re reason that okay, that we've had hardly any theaters. They ha have have to close. Nobody gets sick. I mean, okay. yeah. Okay. I, 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 I suspect. Okay, I suspect that uh, that all the closings that 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 you're getting in in your city is because the New York theaters are so big. Okay. Okay. They, they are. Okay. They they are big nineteenth century buildings. Okay. So every every one one is about eighteen inches from from the next person. Okay, and the dressing rooms are are designed for packing people elbow to elbow. Yeah. So there's really no way to socially distance, and also New York, New York uh, attracts a, um, a a a wider range of audiences, and I think a lot of them didn't really believe that that they would that they would have to have to mask up and show proof of vaccination. And and the theater doesn't really want to turn them away at the door, but but here at here in Chicago, I, I have seen people tur uh, turned away very politely at the box office and and offered a chance to buy a ticket for another performance. Okay, but yeah. hey, but they're not coming in. No, no, we've we've turned people away at the Greenhouse Theater Center. 
who did not have the no. proof of vaccination. And, and in New York too, no, they do turn them away because um, yeah. my one of my co-hosts got turned away because she forgot to bring her vaccination card. That's right, exactly right. Yeah. The yeah. restaurant. I mean, when I the one or two times I went into the city, I tried to go uh, get pizza. You know, in a pizza place, I had to show my card. Went to the drama bookshop. They were like card and ID. It's like okay, yeah, okay for sure. You know, so right. yeah, I mean, it, they are. And when I stood online for to see the Lehman trilogy. It was like, you know, on the line, there's people checking your ID. Now, speaking of IDs, I'm going to identify this other person who has joined us. His name, of course, is Richard Shore. He is, of course, the um, musical director for a show that uh, I'm kind of involved in called Shalom, Damn It, an evening with Rabbi Saul Solomon back when we did it at the... Um, Richmond Shepherd Theater years ago, and then we did it in Colorado, and then we did it in New York a few times, and we want to do it again. Uh, we put together a wonderful four-minute promo of it that I've been saving that because I was trying to you get. Show it. You should show it now. I should show it, you know, like like at the end of the the program to show it because it's pretty great. But there's no point in, in trying to attract money for it because I'm not going to be doing anything for at least half a year. But Richard, how why are hmm? why aren't you doing anything for half a year? Because I don't want to die. And my wife doesn't oh. want to die, you know. <laughs> huh? Simple as that. You I know. suppose if that's your outlook. Yeah, well, mm. Richard, you know me. Is my outlook positive? Am I ever ah. optimistic about anything? Well, <laughs> this, is, this is why we get along so well. There you go. Hey, can I ask a question? No. What? Okay. No, uh, no. Do you do you seriously think that you're going to die? Or are you just being uber careful? I am being uh, uber careful, but I have a reason. Let me put it that way. No, that's fine. That's fine. Well, uh, that's ominous. <laughs> yeah. I cannot explain more, but there is a very significant reason. Yeah, we're getting firecrackers. Oh Look at that. God. Oh, no, that one was my fart, but the rest of them are firecrackers. Should, you know, I, how, do, how, do I, how do I set this so I can see everybody? A oh, gallery. gallery. You should be. I can see everybody. <laughs> Gallery, yeah. Richard. I don't phone. see anything that says gallery. Oh, go up on the way up, up on the top. Up. Well, it says view, top mm -hmm. right. Uh, way up at the top. Up top right. right you can't leave. see me anyway. So just, top right, it says leave. Do you want me to leave? Right. I haven't oh, even no. said anything yet. Scrolling on your phone. Keep scrolling from left. Where it says view. Look for view. Oh, this is Dave, have you heard? I, I was going to check with David Sheward. How is he doing? Oh, there it is. Oh, we wanted. We were hoping he would find a few moments to be on the show with us. Uh, he did not. He's he is rested. We should mention David Sheward was hit by a car. Uh, I don't know if oh, you know goodness. He, no, I heard. Sheward was hit by a car about a week and a half, just before Christmas. Is he home or he's still days. in the hospital? I'm sorry. Is he home or still in the hospital? No, no he he got home Christmas either the day before Christmas or on Christmas morning. He he was sent home. Yeah. But he's recuperating. He was you know he broke six ribs. So it was not fun, uh, but he's okay. We were hoping he would find a few moments to join us today. He was not able to, but we certainly give a shout out to him. Um, give you know, obviously, you know, our Richard, um, um, David Sheward is with us every week playing the Today Yesterday trivia game. Maybe he'll be with us next week. I don't know if he'll be quite up to it yet. Um, I'd love to come and play with you again. I had so much fun when we did it. Well, Eva, are you, uh, again, we do Saturday mornings. Is that a problem or is that not a problem? I forget. No, no, I, I can skip Temple. I don't mind. <laughs> there you go. I can skip Temple. <laughs> go to hell. Why not? Dog isn't, dog doesn't work. <laughs> if you're going to Temple, you don't believe in hell. <laughs> well, that's right. Exactly. Now, Richard, Except when sure, you get Richard, down there, you're really surprised. It's Richard. not like there's a kiddish to go to. I mean, you know, I, I went for the food and the singing. Because I never thought this existed, and now it does. You Oops. go for the herring. That's what you go for, obviously. Just oh, like yes. Herring. I love that herring. I've got herring in the fridge. What do I need cream? to go to hell for herring? <laughs> cream I have no herring, and I feel terrible. Wait, sorry. Wait, sorry. No, I'm, I'm hard of herring. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Richard Shore, you live in, um, you're still in Colorado, right? You haven't moved? Yeah, we have another hour and a half of this stinking 2021 left. 
Oh, that's right. Richard, is your house on fire? Yeah, I mean, how are you in you terrible shape? What happened with the fire? Well, that was about 20 miles south of me, about a half hour drive. And uh, we had some hurricane force winds, category two. There was even a wind gust recorded at 115 miles an hour. My God. And it blew down some power lines and the power lines uh, set fires. And one of them was in this... Uh, well, both of them were in a suburban area, but one of them just really spread and houses started to catch fire. Now they're saying well over 500 houses yeah. got burned yeah. down. Yeah. Some, and now it's snowing. Around, huh? Now it's snowing. Uh, a little bit, not, not so much where I am, but hopefully more down there. And uh, somehow or other, uh, nobody got killed. Yeah. Amazingly enough. I mean, like- yeah. Oh, yeah. thank God. Amazing. So, yeah, we've, we've all got, as miserable as things have been, we have things to be thankful for, even, like, today, you know. Let's just and, hope 2022 is better. Please. It won't be, but we hope. <laughs> it has to be. Well, first thing I have to do in 2022 is find a place to live. What? Well, don't My, you, uh, your family has, I mean, I don't want to get into stuff that people don't know, but don't you have a, a place in Massachusetts? Or is that not a thing? Well, I mean, no place I'm going to live. I mean, I'm not going to move in with my sister. People do crazy. I'm living with my mother. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm yeah. They're, they're selling my apartment. They're selling my townhouse. So I have to have to find some place to live. So oh. I've been house shopping during Christmas. You can t you can imagine the success I'm having. Not to mention you're at the worst possible time in the real estate market to buy that's what that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, anybody need a roommate? <laughs> Eva, you have a, a nice little uh, long one bedroom in, or is it two bed? You've got like almost a double apartment so, here. Yeah, but Alfie's got the other apartment. I put him on a lease, and he's not going anywhere. I'm stuck with him. Uh. <laughs> he's not here right now. Adam's not saying anything. Uh, but how is Adam, that? Adam is listening to the <laughs> repartee and just saying, "I've got nothing to add here of any value." So I'll just listen. <laughs> Nor would you, even in other circumstances, Adam. You <laughs> a Adam, that's that's fine. Dave doesn't either. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Let me explain. Dave's going to be spending time in the untalented hotel in London. Oh, Paris, Paris. Mm -hmm. oh, Paris. Oh. Sorry, Paris. Okay, so by the way, Adam Glass is my cousin. Eva Heimer oh. is an old friend who I, I who who freely admits she became a theater critic thanks to me. No. Um, <laughs> it's his fault. It's his fault. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, Vicky Quaggy, of course, uh, co-creator of Late Night Catechism and is also doing Christmas Bingo up until January 2nd. So, so basically... Yeah, and then we segue into Bible Bingo. Bible Bingo. Mm -hmm. I do have a good joke if you want to hear it. Oh, yes, I love jokes. Okay, uh, let me introduce and then we'll come back. So also, Mary Shang Barnage, who writes for TotalTheater.com, right. TheaterInChicago.com. Yes, she is. She's just not visual. And and um, Richard Shore, the musical director and, uh, you know, attached, as we say, to Shalom Damage and Evening with Rabbi Saul Solomon. Tell us your joke. Okay, here's a, here's a joke. So this guy dies and he goes to heaven and he's standing in line at the pearly gates. And all of a sudden, the bell rings and confetti starts to fall. Balloons are falling. It's just mayhem. Turns out he's the Tresillion soul in heaven. And St. Peter rushes up to him and says, you have won. And what you've won is you get to ask and have answered any question, any mystery, anything you've ever wondered about. Think about it. The guy says, oh, I, I know already, but I want to ask the Virgin Mary. And Peter goes, oh, the Virgin Mary. Okay, I said anything. Uh -huh. He goes and gets the Virgin Mary and she comes out and she and the guy walk off. Mary says, what's your question? Guy says, okay, in every painting, in every mosaic, in every tapestry, in every photo, in every statue, anytime I've ever seen your beautiful face, you always look so sad. And I have to ask Mary, why always so sad? And Mary looks around to make sure no one's listening. And she goes, well, the truth is, I always wanted a girl. 
But um, thank you and good night. I can't believe it was clean. This is uh, that's how I end every one of my shows. Was with that joke. (laughs) Vicky Quaggy, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to hear a little bit more from Mary. Uh, tell us one more bit about Chicago Theater of the Year, if you can. Oh, Mary's still there. Oh yeah, okay, okay. yeah, but okay. What, what did you want to know? Well, anything else that you kind of prepared to talk about? Um, you know, because I know we, usually on these New Year's things we, we spend like a half an hour together, but but it's a whole different oh, thing this year. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Well, uh, well, if uh, if Richard Shore is looking for a place to live, there's still there's still an, an attic somewhere near Red Orchid where Michael Shannon once slept. So. And Michael Shannon, a well-known actor, um, and yeah. broken farm. Yeah. Chicago. yeah. Okay. You, was, you, Michael you Shannon who was Michael in Shannon Chicago. Now, but, what? 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 I say Michael Shannon was in Chicago, uh, having a drink uh, at a bar when he was was receiving the Oscar. Uh, what was that like two, three years ago, Mary? Yeah. Yeah. Because he was in a show in Chicago at the time. Yeah, he, he was in a show that. in Chicago. Yeah, okay. yeah. He, he still still comes back back to the uh, to the literal literally hole in the wall red red, red orchid, okay, which is which is lo- located in a little studio studio behind the curbside buildings. So uh, so you have have to have to walk, walk in, into into the middle of a okay, down. Now, what used to be an alley, but now has a roof and a floor on it, right. in, in, into this li- a little hole, a hole, hole in the wall there. Okay, but yeah, my, uh, Michael Michael Shannon okay, come, comes home uh, comes home from from Hollywood and uh, okay, that, uh, vacuums out. I'll be sorry, and he hangs yeah, but... out. Michael Shannon hangs out in Chicago. You can catch him in Old Town. You can see him at bars. Um, well, it's like Alec Baldwin in East Hampton without the you know killing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. people people think that guy looks just like Michael Shannon. It is Michael Shannon. Okay, but okay, but 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 in his very very early days, okay, and um, I, I recall seeing Michael Shannon in a play when okay, when he was seventeen years old. Okay, okay. Uh, Vicky, you you might 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 remember it was uh, De- Dexter's. Uh, Dexter's little studio up up in up in Evanston. Hey, and before before Killer Joe premiered there, but okay, but um, but but Tracy Letts and uh, Shannon and a couple of other others were uh, were in it. And, and afterwards, hey, I ran backstage, grabbed Dexter Bullard by, by the lapels, and said, "Where did you find him?" I remember you raving about um, Michael Shannon's performances. Long before he was right. on TV, long before I mean, Mary was like one of the early champions yeah. of him, and and we are a champion of Mary Shen Barnage. Mary, you can, again read her theaterinchicago.com, totaltheater.com, Windy City Times. Mary, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being with us on this New Year. Wishing you happiness, wishing you good health in 2022, and um, and, and I hope to. And, uh, and happy new year to you. You are going to get so much snow next week. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. It, it, it's hit, hitting us tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So in a couple of days, okay, it, uh, it's going to westerly. It's way over to you. I'm sure. Well, you know, we've gotten so lucky so far. Not a drop really of snow in New York. Up through. You're lucky. Yeah. That, well, that's that's going to end soon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. If it had only ended time. for us two days earlier. What do you mean? Oh, oh yeah. If, if, if our if our snowless season had ended two days earlier, maybe the fires wouldn't have been so bad. Oh, yeah. I know. No, totally. Well, totally. Mary, have a great one. I'm going to let you go. So have a, have a okay. great 2022. Uh, and guys, let's see, who wants this to go? Because I, I, I do want, since Richard is here, Joyce, Joyce made me think of this. Would you like to see the debut, really, of the promo that Richard and I put together for Shalom yeah. Rabbit and Evening? Of course. I saw some Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 original footage from way back in the Richmond Shepherd Theater and new footage we just shot a couple of months ago 
in New York. It's about four minutes long. So let's see, I'm going to share my screen. It's the first time I've done this all night. Yeah, this is great. Okay, I, well, I, I think it's pretty fantastic. So here it is. You're, you should be seeing, oh, not my mail. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> not this. Not that. There it is. Oh, I see Perfect. Yes. And you see all the pictures yes. here. Yeah, um, I see here it. Here we go. There's, oh, Mary, one of the shows Mary wanted to talk about. But here is, oh, where, oh, maybe I don't have it. Maybe I have it on another, hold on, just one. Dave, you are always such a tease. I wasn't, I wasn't planning to show this tonight. That's why I, I shame on me. Let's see if I can find it. No, it's um, there somewhere. It's going to be here somewhere. Hold Stop on. Stop screen share while you're looking, David. Stop well, there's, there's nothing they can see that I'm not even... Let's now it's still that. 2021 in Chicago. Well, uh, does 2022 <laughs> feel any different? Um, what? Well, I missed the. Uh... It's still the show. No, it's still... no, it doesn't. It really no. doesn't. No, not really. No. Do we have any plans? It's, okay. But it's it's still young yet. They'll give it time. Hopes, hopes nope, for 2020. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. That's it okay. On your Google Drive. No, it's not okay. It's a little, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I can't go a little tension. That, but, um, yeah, you know, it's all right. Stop screen sharing. Yeah, I'll stop. I, I can play it off YouTube, but that, that gets a little too crazy. Let's, let's just try it one more time. You're live on YouTube. You can't play. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, no, am I back live on YouTube? I don't know. Um, and it's being recorded. Oh, joy. Let's see if this is, this might be it. This might not be it. It um, says movie. Let's see. Oh no, this is four hours and thirteen. I, or is it? No, it's four minutes and thirteen seconds long. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So impatient. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Damn it. Boy, babe. What a bump. Boy, babe. Rabbi, coming and we're gonna go pray. I don't proselytize. I don't come up to you and say, "Ooh, boy." You should turn Jewish. You should, but you, yeah, yeah. Just put a Mogan David round my neck and write the UJA a whopping check. My prostate's bigger than a three pound blitz. I'm just an old time Jewish prince. What is it that makes me a Jew? Apart from my crippling depression. Oh, you, who, who? So you wanna be a Jew, who, who? You want to grow a beard, dress up weird, new hoo hoo. For centuries, our differences have torn us apart. Tonight, I want to tear us together. Joseph Heller, Arthur Miller, Bibe Schwinkel, Barry Diller, Matis Yahoo, Norman Mailer, husbands of Elizabeth Taylor, keep your colors French and kiss, make Aliyah get a risk, lose your memory, die of cancer, we're still waiting for an answer. Shalom, damn it! My name is Rabbi Saul Solomon. Founder and spiritual leader of Temple Sons of Bitches in Great <laughs> in Helix, Long Island, because to get from the dais to the sanctuary, you have to go through a nail salon. I've created a show, a theater show, where in sermon and song, I express my worldview. Kiss the fringe, touch the Torah, make the blessing, break the bread, cut the matzah, tie this six times around this, seven times around this. This is not religion. This is OCD. <laughs> <laughs> this land was Turkish, then it was British, but they felt guilty. So now it's Yiddish. Sometimes <laughs> you can fit all of Eretzius Royal into New Jersey and still have room for a Chuck E. Cheese. The West <laughs> Bank is in Israel. Gaza and the Golan Heights are in Israel. Houses there are called settlements because Jews who could have moved to Bermuda looked around and said, eh, we'll settle. I sit all day with a Bible in front of me until I reach the end of Deuteronomy. We dance around, say prayers, and then we have to start with Genesis all over again. Here we have Reb Chaim Zatz, the scholar. He spent decades translating the Torah into Hebrew. A terrible waste of time, of course, because the Torah was already in Hebrew. <laughs> You don't have to be Jewish to come to Shalom, damn it. 
I'll be doing circumcisions at the door. If you're <laughs> in a hurry, yet you still make time to worry, then you're Jewish. Then you're Jewish. <laughs> Rabbi, why do Jews always answer a question with another question? We do. Any other questions? Hey, oh, another question. My God, I still have to be funny. All right, yeah, talk to Rabbi, me. Rabbi, is it true that the best kind of cheese to eat on Passover is mozzarella? Oh, that's bad. Get out! He, he outdid you. Ah, Leslie. Oh. Come, Mrs. Finkelman, come and kiss the Torah. Shalom, damn it. An evening with me. Funny, timely. And ethnic. How'd you like to do their horizontal horror? Rabbi's coming and we're coming. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, uh, Dave. Yes, the, the deafening silence and so. <laughs> well, I no, it. I you know what? Running. People don't realize how hard it is to do a one character show. That's you did an excellent job. You well, hey, it wasn't hey, one hey, character there that was there. That yeah. was at least 15 characters in Dave's head. Well, <laughs> yes, yeah, still the one one person show. Excellent two, job, Dave. Two two it's a two, yes, it's a one-man, two-person show. That's what we call it because Richard you know, is an integral part as the musical director. Well, and, okay, and of course. yes, yes. You know, and he yes. doesn't have a tin ear, or else he would be a tin foil. But you know, um, Ooh. I'm sorry, Ooh. that would be if the show had rap in it. But all right, um, yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's still funny. Very cute. Uh, cute. Very cute. It's a wonderful promo, Dave. Yeah, that no, um, that works really well. So great. Very He's good. At the greenhouse. Get me in there. We'll do it. We'll do. We'll we'll, we'll go in in like let's after, talk. You know, let let let's let's work it out. Let's get the show up and uh, and going somewhere, please. Somewhere, please. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, we've we've There's only been doing it for ten shows. years. There's a million fringe places. All I've been over doing late night catechism for twenty nine years now. <laughs> yes, but I'd actually like to use somebody else's money to do the show for once. <laughs> I, I don't have to, to rent a fringe you know, or pay nine hundred dollars to a fringe space so so I can make the fringe people, uh, you know. No, no, but there's fringes. I'm talking about all over the world. I mean, I've had yeah. I have someone with a one person show. She's gone to Iceland and Sweden, oh, yeah. all yes. over the place. Yes, I've gone to Australia. I've gone to Guam. I've gone to Singapore, uh, England, Ireland. Oh yeah. And are you on your own steam or do you, you're, uh, Vicky, you don't have a musical. You're, it's a, a one person like. It's not a musical. Ah, right. Not a musical, but they have to pay the airfare and the hotel and the whole thing, you know. That's, that's, I'll do, you know, or I shouldn't say I'll do it. I have to talk with Rabbi Saul to see if he's available because obviously he doesn't work on Shabbos. What does this mean? Guess what Dr. Frankenstein's New Year's resolution was. All right, we have a joke. This is coming from Steve. Oh, okay. The Okay. What, 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 again, reading again, yes, Joyce. But Dr. Frankenstein's New Year's resolution was. What was Dr. Frankenstein's New Year's resolution? <sighs> what was it? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. He says no soap, eh? I don't know if that's. The, I don't know if that's the punchline. Just say it. That's the I, think, I think we just lost it. Wait, uh, wait. All right. What was it? What's the punchline? I don't think there is one. He says no soap, eh? I have, okay. I don't know what that means. That could be a reference to like the old joke that isn't a joke of no soap radio. No. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I don't know what it means. No, I'm going blazing. Dr. Frank. Whatever. Uh, somebody, go somebody Google it. Well, <laughs> I, heard it. I heard no sorbet. What? There's no No, sorbet. I know. Eva, that's what I was thinking. No sorbet. Mm, no, okay. That was that what you Frank said? No playing, sorbet? Right? That means you gotta eat you know, the other the really fattening oh, ice cream. Okay, well, whatever, line. that's fine. Oh, okay, that's not the punchline apparently. It's there, a new a year. Coming. Oh my God! See, the problem is, oh, is Steve it? the Whistler. Uh, we're talking about Steve the Whistler Herps, who was on earlier in the program. Oh, and then I love him. 
And now he, we can't have him back because you can't oh, bring some. Oh no! Oh. oh, okay. So what is it? So what is? Say the joke is, again. What is Doctor Franken, Frankenstein's Frankenstein's New Year's resolution? What? To make new friends. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh, oh! It was almost as bad as must have been. Do you know where they okay. come from? Parts unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Stay where the untalented hotel <laughs> <laughs> until they bolt, yeah. No, uh, anyway. wow, it's kind of like is it Frankenstein? Frankenstein, uh, uh, young Frankenstein. Igor. Yeah. I just I just saw young Frankenstein on TCM, it was just on. I just watched it. It's you know, Mel so Brooks funny. Is with Beggy White Gun, Mel Brooks, Ava, what knockers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, right. you. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> and Frau Blucher. <laughs> wow, you do the horse noise. Yes. And what does Blucher mean in Lithuanian? Oh, I don't know what. Uh, glue. What? Glue. Oh, glue. You're right. Oh, that's Frau Blucher. Glue. It's a horse. Blucher. It's glue. Oh, that's why they get mad. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Thank you. He Blucher. was my boyfriend. <laughs> so. So Gene, you know, Gene Wilder actually wrote this, brought it to Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks helped him process it, run it through, and and made it work. So Gene it's Wilder so was some of the, the great brilliance behind that. Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. And I just found out Mel Brooks did not want to have the booty in the room. He didn't want that at all. He fought. Oh, Gene it's so fabulous. And Gene he did. fought I, for it. And it gets yes. the biggest yeah. laugh. Makes, it makes that whole scene. Yep. And that was Gene Wilder, not Mel Brooks. Scarecrow with Gene Wilder. Yeah, we just actually, yeah, it's funny. We mentioned Gene Wilder. We we get Broadway HD. I don't know if any of you subscribe to that, but there were. Did you know that Gene Wilder was in a play, uh, apparently a classic European a play trial. called the, the Scarecrow? Oh my played. God, that is that is when I fell in love with Gene Wilder. I love that play. He is so heartbreaking in that play. That play is so good. And that Eva, 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 tell us about the play. Oh, it's so sad. What it is is there's, um, <laughs> it's like in the um, colonial times, and there's and this witch or something. She brings in this mirror, and it's the mirror of truth. And Gene Wilder thinks he's a real person. He doesn't realize he's a scarecrow, and of course he falls in love with someone. And don't forget, I saw this like maybe. 30, 40 years ago, and I still remember it. And then he looks in the mirror and he sees that he's not a real person, he's a scarecrow. And it's just heartbreaking. And he has to give up his, his the girl that he just lives for, uh, playing in the thing. Do you remember who played the girl? No. Blythe Danner. Really? Ooh. Yeah, back in the wow. And wasn't the corn cob, 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 cob pipe that kept him alive? Yep. The yep, yep, exactly. Steven, Steven said he thinks they're wow. absolutely right to keep that line in the movie. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, everything about uh, pretty much everything about. It. There were a couple of cheap jokes in, in Young Frank, and you know I hate cheap jokes. Oh, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you only like the expensive kind. I like jokes when they're on sale, but cheap, I you know. Uh, here's another. No more jokes. Take it on retail. Another joke from Steve. Yeah. Retail. Camera's New Year's resolution. Uh, what? What is what is the digital cameras New Year's? resolution oh god i don't oh, i'm god. so bad at these oh, nine megapixels god. what um all right and we're waiting for the answer what is it See what develops here um oh uh, i'm asking what is it yeah we'll get it in a jiff e get it little oh here. that was bad dave know, yeah know. that's pretty bad well, now, listen yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit you with i'm gonna hit you with another little, little willy joke in a minute right, wait, wait, wait. 1080p Ten. A resolution. It's a TV resolution. <laughs> it's it's, oh, it's an image that's, resolution. That's that's image resolution, and it's not new. Oh, resolution. I get it. Ugh. Oh, resolution. Uh, yeah, got it. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how can? Hey, hey, Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. You have any good jokes there? <laughs> no. <laughs> My <laughs> joke was good. My joke was good. <laughs> now, Agam, you have a lemonade joke? They're, they're only no, I have I have a little Willie joke. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, but please keep your pants on. I mean, we know, but yes. Wait a minute. I was supposed to be wearing pants for you? I, okay. I just have a shirt. I'm okay. not wearing pants. 
<laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. I'm wearing so, a You're very welcome. <laughs> I, I, I haven't gone outside in three days, so I see no reason. There you go. <laughs> so little Willie comes home from school with a note for his mother saying Willie's having trouble with gender issues. So Willie brings, Willie's mother brings him up to the bedroom and says, Willie, I want you to take off my blouse. And Willie takes off her blouse. Oh and, and I want you to take off my, my dress, my, you know, my, my skirt. And, and Willie takes off her skirt. And now I want you to take off my bra. And Willie takes off her bra. Oh God, and so now I want you to take off my panties. And, and he takes off her panties. And he says, now, Willie, I don't want you to wear my clothes to school ever again. <laughs> I want you to know, no, hold on. I told this joke to my mother. Now, when you were 12 years old? Well, no, no, no. I was an adult and I had my brothers there at the same time. And they are cringing, begging me not to tell this joke because they yeah. think something very bad's about to happen. And when I finally dropped the last line, I think my oldest brother almost nearly had a heart, had a stroke. <laughs> because, of course. Oh, no. Actually, I should ask um, Adam, yes. how are yes. your brothers? I mean, they're my cousins, too. How are they? Uh, everybody's fine. Everybody's doing well. Uh, you know, Lost. everybody's but, getting I mean, older. Please remind me, there's Jordan and there's... Evan. A Evan, Tito, right? Tito. Right. Tigo. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and what do they do? Are they... Well, yeah. well Jordan, Jordan's an attorney. Evan deals with commercial real estate uh, development and so on. Cool. And... Um, yeah, what is it tell? We haven't had much family on. Please remind me. I've, I've got rec pre-recorded stuff just before we leave from um, my mom and my mom-in-law. They they pre-taped something, so we'll do that when you guys go. But we we got we're like eight minutes till one a.m. I know, and for me, it's eight minutes to midnight. So let's 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 keep you guys. If you guys can stay a little while longer, sure. we'll, we'll chat a little bit more, and we'll keep um, Vicky here so we can celebrate. If, if that's cool with you, we can we can yeah. another yeah. drop. Otherwise, I'm alone. Almost <laughs> I was on a, an earlier Zoom and we ended it so I could come on here. Pass off more jokes here. Oh, yeah. Steve, if you have another joke. He's got one. Uh, oh, oh, tell us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> definition of <laughs> Ava. <laughs> Please what is don't. The definition of a New Year's resolution. Oh, that, that's, that is the, the joke, right? Yeah. What is the definition of a New Year's resolution? What is it? Well, we're. Oh, we're not even going to try. Um, all right. Uh, I'm afraid. Ava, how do you know Dave? 1080p. <laughs> Ava, how do you know Dave? Oh, it's actually very, it's a very funny story. A friend of mine went on a blind date with him and she was telling me about him. I said, oh, he's perfect for me. I'm going to go on a blind date with him. So we went and saw five uh, women wearing the same bridesmaid's dress yeah. and Julie... Oh, Julie, oh, what's her name? I'm blanking with the rose in the hair, the cabaret thing. Julie Wilson mm -hmm. sat next to me and we were both talking about losing our keys. And they tell me about this magazine. And I says, and, and I saw, so I started writing for him and we just became instant friends. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and uh, you, I had a magazine called This Month, on, it was This Week on Stage that became This Month on Stage. Which no, was it started off as reviewed. This Month and became This Week. No, it started this week, and then I, I couldn't deal with the week anymore. Oh. I needed a monthly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then back, I was young enough, I was still having my monthlies then. So, um, wow. I don't even know what, where I'm going with that. <laughs> You'll see more. What, what, what is, what is the I'm trying to drive it. The answer is an idea that goes in one year and out the at one year, year and out the other. It goes in one year and out the other. One era, I bet it is. Era or year? I bet it's one era and out the other. Yeah. I think he's absorbed a little too much champagne. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you have to whistle the answers. With lighter fluid. So, so yes, mm. but that's how I know Eva. And I know, basically, I just know Vicky from having seen you first on stage. And then... Right, right. I, I was, I, you interviewed me like a year ago, or at least. Oh, you were on um, the show, yeah. No, it's been like... Yeah, yeah on the show. And then, and then we just, every once in a while, you'd invite me on and... And, and I've enjoyed, I have tremendously enjoyed all of it. And, and I hope to get you on many, many times in I hope so. this year ahead. Now, Richard Shore, 
Um, you were at that time teaching at a university in Northern Colorado where I was adjunct teaching and choices teaching. And, and so that's how we kind of hooked up. I was looking for a, a musical director to help my friend Rabbi Saul with his- No, show. no, no. I was editing your master's thesis. <gasps> that's right. Yes. Wait, wait. How did you find him to edit your master's thesis? Oh, he was, well, um, Richard- was I, was te- I was teaching there and his thesis advisor uh, was at the time a friend of mine. And uh, she got me, she was the head of the theater education program. And so she asked me to start editing uh, the, the master's theses that were coming into the program. And she gave me Dave's and I remember we were, oh, we were having such spielkiss over yours because it was uh, non-traditional. <laughs> Go figure. Well, what was your thesis? What was, the, what was it? Well, the idea was, it, it was while I was working on with Rabbi Saul, Shalom Dammit. So it was the process of creating it. But mm-hmm. while I was creating it, I was also trying to perform it because that was part of it. You had to do a performance and write about the performance after you know supposedly after you've performed it except you have to write 95 percent of it before you perform it so you have to make believe you've already done and, and academia is insane so so i'm right well but the the, the biggest problem was that he he wrote his thesis with a yiddish accent oh. <laughs> yeah which didn't go over that well in colorado so, yeah. no, no but I, I had humor. what kind of typewriter did you use to make that work yeah well, that, the best thing, and, and I, well, I, th- I, I, Wendy and Fred were on earlier, but um, Wendy did me a big solid. You, I don't think you ever heard this, Richard, was that Wendy's a librarian in the, the university that we're talking about. And so when my thesis was quote unquote published, you know, they, they, they publish these things per se, like sure. one volume, it goes in the university and one to the Library of Congress, God knows. So when, it's on pro, on so, but when I get, a copy of a you know, and I, I see you know my thesis. I wrote this is all about my play, and I get the the, and it says Rabbit Saul Solomon. Oh, Rabbit! They literally oh, on the cover no. of my thesis. They they, they completely misspell. <laughs> That's the story of my life. And, and Wendy caught it, and she had it fixed at the at the university, and then they they made the. Well, that, good. That's like that old joke, you know, uh, uh, a priest, a rabbi. Uh, no, a priest, uh, uh, an imam, and a rabbit walk into a bar, and yeah. the rabbit says, I think I'm a typo. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best joke of the night. But, uh, hey. Gentlemen, this is, this is very important. Vicky is in Chicago. Yes. No, so, Chicago is all, just over a minute away from Two minutes. own New Year. So Two minutes, I can problem. see it. I should. I feel like I should. Uh, I should put on something here to do well, the countdown. What we did uh, an hour ago on the program, we'll do it again since you guys weren't here for it. Since yeah, it was such a horrible, stinky, miserable year for everybody. It is. We're going to be dropping the deodorant um, instead of a ball. <laughs> here it is. It's a great idea and a dry idea, ladies and gentlemen. So if you'll do it with me, let, let, let's do kind of a countdown. 30. We have the countdown. Uh, I'll just do it by yeah, close enough. It's thirty. Like a minute, no, a minute, a minute. You got. Do we it. have it? Well, not according to that. Really? Yeah. Uh, thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Sure. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. I don't know. I didn't say that. Nineteen. Eighteen. It's not time yet. Seven, nine, I don't know. 15, 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, oh, no, it's midnight. It's midnight already. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year in yeah, Chicago, yeah. in the Midwest. Hello. The best part of the country. <laughs> A toast to all of you. Helen G said Happy New Year. Oh, ha- oh they, no. Happy New Year to everybody. Should all the crazy. Oh my God. God. Well, Happy New Year yes. to all of you. Happy New Year. First of all, um, to my cousin, Adam Glass. I want to thank you so much 
for for hanging with us. For do you have any other jokes? Do you have any other things to share, Adam? Cousin? Has more if you want. Just that I wish all of you well and be healthy, please, and give my love to your mother, if you oh. would. Oh, Adam, and, you're um, so sweet. Yeah. Well, mom had a tough. Yeah. I I lost my dad this year, so it's been a tough. Oh, uh, I'm so yeah. sorry. That's and, right. Yeah. So sorry. We're still looking for him, but. Uh, no. <laughs> God, David. Actually, I, 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 I should mention that our cousin Jan Corwin uh -huh. uh, actually had to have open heart surgery about two weeks ago, and he wow. is, thank God, he's recovering well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. My this, so this, daughter Esther had hip surgery. She's doing okay. Uh, oh, yeah, thank God. A couple months ago. So yeah, it's been, it's been, it's, it's been, been a year. Yeah. Well, and you know yeah. what? Let's leave it behind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my daughter just texted. Happy New Year. I'll let all you guys go so I can, I can, we can all go to sleep. But Steve, what was the joke from Steve? Um, I just told him we're not going to do a homework. Hold on. One more. Okay. One more. And then we'll, oh, I... we'll call you it. You really want to end on a low note, don't you? <laughs> for a cigarette. Oh, wait, wait. A man asks his buddy for a cigarette. man asks his buddy for a cigarette. But his friend quips. His friend quips. I thought you made a New Year's resolution to quit smoking. I thought you made a New Year's resolution to quit smoking. The man replied. The man replied. I'm in uh, phase one of quitting. I'm in phase one of quitting. His friend confused asks. Phase Wait, can, one. can you hear her? Can you hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. His, so uh, his friend confused asks phase one, and the man says, "The man left. Yes, I quit buying them." <laughs> Oh. What a bump. These jokes have not improved. <laughs> I told a good joke. Adam, I told a good joke. <laughs> you you did tell a good joke. Unfortunately, it was an hour and change ago. <laughs> it was last year already. Hold I mean, on, really? hold on. I've got one. It was last year already. <laughs> one, one of my, oh, one of, one of my favorite okay. jokes. <laughs> one of my favorite jokes. What do you get when you pour root beer into a square mug. Oh, I don't know, but I love root beer. I love Negative black cows, eye. which huh? some people call them black cows and some people call them root beer floats. And you can tell where you live in the city of Chicago and where you grew up, depending on what you call them. Well, okay, but t but tell the, the I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Yeah, wait, wait. Well, well if everyone would be quiet. You you okay, Richard, go ahead. Yeah. What's the punchline? What do you get when you pour root beer into a square mug? What is it? Beer, beer. Oh, because oh, the root. Oh. Is that a root square. Oh, oh it's a mess. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, Richard. On that note. Are, are you, you trying know, to really? This is like, uh, do you have any drummer jokes? That, that's that's what's next. Orchestra, I, yeah. I will tell you the worst joke in the world. This joke, I love it because well, we've it's, beyond, the worst joke it's beyond stupid. Okay, okay Ava, do it. Do I've it. got to give you a bad joke too. I want to be part of the class. What did the fat Martian say when he landed on Earth? The fat Martian landed on Earth. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. What? What? Me? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Exactly. It's stupid. Me? Oh, because he's a Martian. Oh, oh. oh <clears throat> you realize we all fell for that. Yes, we did. I'm embarrassed now. And I can't even leave that behind. Thank you. I have to live my entire year with that on my phone. That's right. That starts off the new year. Thanks a lot, Eva. <laughs> Can I add that to, to, to Dave's number to two? No. Somebody yelled out something. Hold on, they heard something. What's the name? Oh, dear Lord. This show has completely gone What's off the rails. <laughs> well, you know what, Dave? I'm going to take off. Yes. Happy New Year. Vicky, Happy New everybody Year. Everybody in Chicago, oh, please go to the greenhouse. Naperville. Naper oh, Naperville. And we have another thing that somebody I'll wrote. explain Naperville. They um, said, Dave, Jamie says, hey. Oh, when oh Jim Bernard. Bernard. I don't know how to say it. Who, what? Happy New Year in Italian, I guess. Oh, thank you. Whoever. Oh. The top of the year yeah. from Milan. Thank you. Home near how nice. James, um, Jamie James Lorenzo? Lorenzo? Yeah. Oh, Jamie Lorenzo. Uh, Yay. Okay. Yes. 
Jamie Jamie was in a theater company that I was involved in like 30 years ago. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. And Naperville is just um, the place when uh, the guy who was it's, trying to log on earlier, Ozer Teigelbaum. It's west of Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, we, we visited his friend in Naperville and I wrote a song, the worst song ever written <laughs> about it was really high pitch. I used to I used to own a theater company. I used to own a theater in Naperville. Oh my gosh, what was the name of it? Crossroads Theater. In Naperville. Oh my gosh. I, I own know, Crossroads I Theater in Naperville. Watching, but, but um years ago. But yeah. probably when I was there, writing horrible and I would torture. Um, my friend that, who I stay with, who was putting me up in Chicago. And once I wrote the song, it was such an annoying song that I would just sing it over and over until he punched me. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Vicki, Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, my so God. Nice Thank you for you. having me. Always, absolutely. Always a delight. And and stay well, stay creative. <sighs> do, a, do a Jewish show for, for crying out loud. You know, God's just, sake. Let's do this. <laughs> Put on a scheidel, you could do it. Come I think on. that you, she should get together with the rabbi and work on something. You know? Yeah. It's, you know? it's right there. I know. Yeah. Have a great one, Vicki. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, Vicki Quaggy, okay. ladies and gentlemen, in the neighborhood, go see her in Chicago at the Greenhouse. I'm going to let uh, everybody, go so I can play a couple of things from my mom and my mom-in-law and end this show that was supposed to be two and a half hours long. <laughs> Well, seven. <laughs> never works never works adam glass my cousin uh health happiness to you yeah let us the dogs want to sleep the puppies want to go short. yeah even, even the dogs now and, and and you know your your daughter so i already got told i'm making too much noise here i'm in trouble already the year just started <laughs> <laughs> and you're not even married at this point i can understand if you're married, but no it, but anyway. i have skill i have mad skills <laughs> And you're kind of mad and you have skills. So ladies That's and true. gentlemen, Adam Glass, stay well, my, my friend. And, and please keep coming back to the neighborhood. Always. Do well. Take care. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to Eva Heinemann.